As I travel to churches all across the country, I meet thousands of people who tell me that they feel discouraged and weakened by all the moral decay that's closing in around them. And they say, what happened to the power of the church? Where is our hope? No nation has ever been rescued from moral and economic ruin apart from the church turning their whole heart back to God. Our hope is not in the president. Our hope is not in the Supreme Court or in the laws we pass or in any of our accomplishments. Our hope is in the power of God working in the hearts of moms and dads, families, churches, communities, reviving our nation from the inside out and the bottom all the way up to the top. We don't need a king. We've already got a king. His name is Jesus Christ. He wasn't voted into office and he wasn't elected by the media. Foreign policy, he's called the ruler of the nations. Border control, he says to every nation, this is your boundary and to the sea, here and no further. Discrimination, he himself was an outcast and was crucified. Welfare, he gives food to the hungry and cares for the needy. Healthcare, he is the great physician who heals the sick and conquered the grave. We don't need a king. We have the King of Kings. What we need is to remember who we are and whose we are and elect leaders who will represent the King's ways in our land. Join me and hundreds of thousands of believers in movie theaters all across this nation for a special one night live event on October 18th. Pastor Francis Chan and Dr. James McDonald, Dr. Ben Carson and Eric Metaxas, Jennifer Rothschild, and even Miss Clara from the inspirational hit movie, War Room. And we'll have powerful musical guests like the Vertical Church Band and Passion, and that's just the beginning. This will be an exciting, interactive, live experience that you participate in. And as the night builds, we're gonna have a question and answer time where we listen to your thoughts and answer your questions. And before the night is over, you'll have a chance to gather with those in your theaters and pray and have thoughtful discussions with those in your faith community. I want you and your family to come to revive us, a night of hope, vision, and courage. And together, we'll discover the one and only strategy that has always worked in every generation, on every continent, and never failed to revive a nation. Don't miss it.